how to read the nutrition facts label in five steps. Nutrition labels, and specifically the nutrition facts table, can help you compare packaged food and drink products and make the best choices for your nutrition needs. In this video, we will cover the five steps to reading a nutrition facts table, including where to find key information, which information we want to focus on, and what the percentage means on the right side of the table. If you've looked at the nutrition facts table before, which value do you tend to look at first? Lots of people will say calories, but there's actually a step that goes before this. This brings us to step number one, checking the serving size. The serving size is the number at the top of the table. The serving size does not tell you the amount that you should be eating or drinking. It is just a standard amount that food companies use. But it is important because all of the nutrition information that follows in the table is based on this amount. So in this example, one cup of this food has 110 calories, zero grams of fat, 26 grams of carbohydrates, two grams of protein, and so on. Keep in mind, the serving size listed might be less or more than you would eat. So if you're going to eat double the serving size, you'll have to double all of the values in the table. So for example, if the serving size says one cup, but you are going to eat double that amount, two cups, you would have to double all of the information in the nutrition values. For example, 110 calories becomes 220 calories and so on. This brings us to step number two, scan the nutrients found in the table. As we move down the label, you'll see calories next. Calories act like fuel for your body, similar to how gasoline acts as fuel for a car. So this value tells you how much fuel you get from one serving of this product. Though calories might be helpful to know, depending on your nutrition goals, we likely want to pay more attention to the information listed below calories, including fats, carbohydrates, protein, cholesterol, sodium, and vitamins and minerals, like potassium, calcium, and iron. This brings us to step number three, which is check out the percent daily value. You may be wondering, what is the percentage listed along the right side of the table? This is the percent daily value, or percent DV. This value can tell you if a food is high or low in a specific nutrient. A good rule of thumb is that 5% or less is considered a little, and 15% or more is a lot. This brings us to step number four. Determine which nutrients you want more or less of. Though every person has unique nutrition goals, in general, unless you've been told otherwise by your healthcare provider, most people will want to choose foods that are higher in fiber, potassium, calcium, and iron. And in general, most people will want to choose foods that are lower in sodium, added sugars, and saturated fat. Depending on your nutrition goals, you may be looking for more protein as well. Keep in mind there is no percent DV for protein because according to Health Canada, most Canadians get enough protein in their diet if they're eating a variety of foods, so it's not a health concern. But if you're looking for more protein, you will have to look at the amount in grams and compare that to your goal amount. Now, it might feel a little bit overwhelming to focus on all of these nutrients, so instead, pick one or two to focus on based on your nutrition goals. Your dietitian can help you decide which nutrients to pay attention to on the nutrition label. Fiber helps to keep you fuller for longer. It also helps to keep your digestive system working well. Potassium helps the body manage blood pressure and is important for nerve and muscle function. Calcium is necessary for healthy bones and teeth. It's also important for muscles and heart health. Iron helps move oxygen around your body through the blood. Now, sugars can be a little bit confusing. One important thing to note about the nutrition facts table is that it does not always differentiate between added sugars, so sugars that are added during the food or drink manufacturing process, and those that are naturally present or naturally occurring in a food. So for example, one medium gala apple has about 18 grams of total sugar, but obviously no sugar has been added to this food. This sugar is naturally present or naturally occurring. Versus one can of regular pop has about 25 grams of sugar. All of this sugar has been added to the product. Ultimately, these are the types of sugars that we want to try and limit. 
the ones that have been added to a product. So how can we tell if sugars have been added or if they are naturally present? Well, the ingredients list can help to tell you whether sugars are added to a product. Ingredients lists are in order of quantity. If sugar is listed in the first ingredients, it is the most plentiful. Added sugars can go by many different names on the ingredient list. Sugar ingredients often end in os. So look for names for sugar like dextrose, glucose, maltose, sucrose. Added sugar also comes from common ingredients like honey, agave, syrup, and juice concentrate. Lastly, let's move on to step number five, which is, co which is comparing foods based on your nutrition goals. Now that we know where to find information and which information we want to focus on, we can use this to compare two foods and decide which one is the better choice for us. Remember, all foods can fit in a healthy diet. Even if a food is higher in sugar, salt, or saturated fat, enjoy these foods once in a while versus every day. Let's run through an example. This is a nutrition facts table from a box of cereal. Let's take a look and run through our five steps. Step one, check the serving size. For this box of cereal, the serving size is one cup or 30 grams. If you make a fist, that's about the size of one cup. Now this leads to step two, browse the nutrients. If we eat one cup of this cereal, we will get 120 calories, 0.1 grams of fat, 27 grams of carbohydrates, one gram of fiber, 16 grams of sugar, one gram of protein, and so on. On the right side of the table, you can also see the nutrition facts if you were to eat this cereal with 125 milliliters of 1% milk. Now let's move on to step three. Look at the percent daily value to de determine which nutrients this food has a little or a lot of. As a reminder, 5% or less is a little. Most people want to choose foods that are lower in saturated fat, added sugars, and sodium, and 15% or more is a lot. Most people will want to choose foods that are higher in fiber, potassium, calcium, and iron. So this food has 0% saturated fat, 16% sugars, 3% sodium, and 4% fiber, 1% potassium, 0% calcium, and 22% iron. Step number four, determining which nutrients you are aiming for more or less of depending on your nutrition goals. Let's say that we are looking to increase fiber and reduce added sugars. How do we know if sugar is added to this food? When we look at the ingredient list, we can see sugar is listed as the second ingredient. This brings us to step five, where knowing this information, we can compare the food with another one to choose the best option for us. Let's compare this food to steel cut oats, for example. For a quarter cup of dry oats, we get 14% fiber and 0% sugar. And if we look at the ingredients list, the only ingredient is 100% whole grain oats. So if I'm looking for an option with less sugar and more fiber, I'm better off choosing the oats and adding some nutritious inclusions like fresh fruit, nut butter, or seeds. To recap what we've learned in this video, the nutrition facts table can be a helpful tool to learn about the nutrition in a specific food or drink. It can also be used to help compare two or more items to determine which one you want to choose. Look at the serving size first. Remember, this is not the recommended amount you should eat or drink. It is simply a standard serving size. Adjust the nutritional information based on the amount you would typically have. Most people will want to aim for 5% or less DV of sodium, sugars, and saturated fats. And most people will want to aim for 15% or more DV of fiber, potassium, calcium, and iron. Check out the ingredients list to look for sources of added sugar. Remember, calories are not the most important information on the nutrition facts table. And lastly, all foods can fit in a healthy diet. Even if a food is higher in sugar, salt, or saturated fat, enjoy these foods once in a while versus every day. Thanks for listening. Found this video helpful? Share it with a friend or colleague.